Hello class! Welcome to today's math lesson. Today we are going to be ordering two-digit numbers from smallest to largest or from the least to the greatest. Let's take a look at these three numbers. Behind me I have the numbers 75, 37, and 61. Hmm. Which one is the smallest number? Well, to figure that out, we're going to look at the tens place. The seven is in the tens place in 75. The three is in the tens place in 37. And the six is in the tens place in 61. Hmm. Seven or 70, three or 30, six or 60. Which one is smaller? or the smallest. <gasps> Yell it out. Yes, it would be the three or the, the 30 in 37. So I'm gonna put this one first because it is the least. It is the smallest number and I'm gonna write smallest right here. Smallest, oops, I forgot to cross my T. Smallest. We have to look between these two numbers which one would come next? 75 or 61? Well, we're gonna see which one of these two numbers is the smaller of the two. And we're gonna look at our tens place, seven and six. Which one's smaller? That's a pretty easy question. It would be the six, which represents six groups of 10 or 60. And this number is 61. Let's see, I have 37, 61, and 75. 75 is in my largest space. I have just ordered these three numbers from smallest to largest. Let's try some more. Here I have three new numbers. 53, 97, and 35. Hmm, I bet you if you are looking at that, that right away you can tell which one is the biggest. Can you tell? Look at the tens place. We have a five in the tens place, a nine, and a three. Which one would be the largest? Yes, did you say 97? 97 is our largest number. It has nine groups of 10 and seven ones. Hmm. Now we have these two numbers, and they look very similar. We have a 53 and a 35. Hmm. Sometimes when we're writing big numbers, we switch the numbers around and mix them up a little bit. But we need to have the right number in the right place. So it does make a difference that these two are switched a little bit. Let's take a look at our tens place to see which number is larger. In 35, we have a three in the tens place. And in 53, we have a five in the tens place. Which one of these would be smaller? The five or the three? Well, that's easy. We know that three is smaller than five. So 35 is smaller than 53. 35 is our smallest, 53 is in the middle, and 97 is our largest number. Let's take a look at three more. Well, here I have three more numbers, 93, 91, and 19. Can you help me rearrange them into smallest, from smallest to largest? I hope so. You remember that we are going to take a look at our tens place. In 93, 9 is in the tens place. In 91, 9 is in the tens place. And in 19, 1 is in the tens place. Which one of those is smaller? That's easy. It's the 1. So 19 is going to be our smallest number. Now we have 93 and 91. Well, let's take a closer look. We're gonna start looking at the tens place again. We have a nine and a nine. Huh, they're the 
same. If they're the same, does that mean the numbers are equal? No, it means we need to look at the ones place, silly. So here we have a nine and a nine in the tens place, and now we're gonna look at the ones place. In 93, there's a three. And in 91, there's a one. Which one's smaller, one or three? It is. So 93 is our largest, and 91 would come before that. Let's look at these three numbers in order now. We have the smallest one is 19, and then 91, and 93. Now 91 and 93 are pretty close, but 93 is still two more. Today, I would like for you to take some time ordering two-digit numbers. See if you can figure out which one is the smallest and which one is the largest. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.